Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers 101 and today we're on episode 2 guys conveyor tubes and today I'm going to teach you guys how to move stuff from one cargo container to another or from refinery to refinery and moving it everything from one end of your space station to another so today I'm going to be showing you guys the different type of conveyor tubes we have how to set up your own conveyor system and basically know the basics to building your own conveyor system so right here i have an example of conveyors right here i have a conveyor with uranium ore and uranium ingots if i press this little square over here it'll show me everything that's connected in my inventory and right here i can move this uranium ingot over to container three and if i walk over here and open my container close up the square right here and you'll find out that the uranium has been moved over and that's been for the simple fact that i have conveyor tubes connected with a conveyor junction that will allow my materials to transport from one end to another thanks to the junction now guys i'm going to show you a whole conveyor system that i've developed here at this small base that you guys probably saw on episode one if you were keeping up with the series now i have this whole conveyor system set up with conveyor junctions everywhere and it's connected to my refineries my oxygen tanks my oxygen vents and throughout my whole cryo chamber and everything so like if i were to go on any one of these right here for example i'll go on our hydrogen tank and open it up i can see everything that's connected through the conveyor tubes so if i wanted to look and add like uranium ingots into my reactor i can do so from doing it from this menu now i can also bring it down and just look at the hydrogen tank as well if i want to add ice and stuff i can do that just by going on any one of these tubes over here now what's also pretty cool is that all your things are connected in just one system so you don't have to worry to go into one of these cargo bins you can just go whichever one you want and access whatever you're trying to access all through one so it makes everything very convenient everything very simple and it makes your life a lot easier especially when you have big large space stations or big large ships conveyors are just very practical and it's not that hard they're very easy to build and they're very easy to get the materials to construct them as well guys so it's not that simple all you need is honestly a conveyor junction uh the tubes so there are different various various tubes that you can use so we do have straight pipes like these we do have these little curved ones as well then we have our junctions now it doesn't take much to build these it only takes 10 interior plates 10 construction com compart compartments sorry about that guys six motors 20 small steel tubes 20 more construction comps and interior plates and same a little bit different for our conveyor straight pipe which will take four interior plates six motors 12 steel tubes 20 construction comps and 10 interior plates and if you want the curved one you're going to be needing four interior plates six motors 12 small steel tubes 20 construction comps and 10 interior plates which is very durable when you start off in space engineers guys so there you have it guys this is basically all you need to make your own conveyor system it's not that hard it's basically plug and play as i'm going to show you one more la one more time before the end of this video is that you just got to plug things in it's like playing with legos guys you put them right in here to this entry point right over over here and you basically have everything connected into one file system and basically have everything connected in one just make sure you have those junctions in the right place and you're ready to go well there guys that's the end of episode two and we're going to be tackling on a new topic on episode three which is going to be oxygen hydro tanks and all that fun stuff so stay tuned for episode three guys and again We'll catch you later. See you guys.